Hi there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss assertions in Apache Geometer. So first thing we are going to do is right click on our test plan, then add, and then you'll find option for adding assertions. So there are different type of assertions like response, duration, size, XML xpath so each of these are different and most of the common assertions that we use are response assertion duration assertion size assertion and except so let's first add a response assertion it gives you a specific or expected result from the server and you get to test you get to test the string of response from the server side so let's say if a server responds with a specific text or message or header or ignore or acceptance status then you get to choose what you want to test for the server response like this url response response message header ignore status also the pattern here we can add is by clicking on add button we can decide the pattern for this uh, knowledge of a regular expression would definitely help as you can able to filter the pattern also you get to select options for pattern matching like contains matches equals substring and doesn't match then for the sample it also lets you get the option like main sample from server uh, subsample and main sample and subsamples. Okay, so let's remove this one and add another assertion, which is here is duration assertion. Uh, when we make a request to server, it responds within a particular duration, and in order to test our result, we check for the duration in milliseconds we have to specify main sample or sub sample or both for the duration check and we have to check the millisecond number here let's go for another one okay, this time it is size assertion oh, okay so let's also cover the HTML assertion this is very simple whenever a server responds with HTML page or message then we get to compare or uh, let's say verify if the format of the file and the file name that responded from the server matches with our test another assertion is size assertion uh, we get to know the size with which the message or the content responded from the server so let's say if I make a request for a particular web page it has 80 KB or um, simply 100 bytes of data and in such case size assertion helps us to compare the size of the response with our test then we have assertion called xml assertion so okay right okay so i have this error 
right now for the XML assertion but uh, on the theory side of XML assertion I can say uh, whenever a server responds with the well formatted XML document and if you want to verify if the document is valid XML document then this assertion is used okay so we have one test that we performed earlier on wikipedia so we will continue with that test let's remove the graph results and let's add assertion in our case we will go with response assertion and here we want to check for the response code Okay, so I have this element added here and from here I'm going to check if the server responds with 302 response here and then I'm going to add a listener assertion results okay Okay, so I have started the test and results are this. It means my test is working as we tested for the negative test case. If the server is redirected to a uh, page, it should give 302 code, but that is not the case as we have entered exact URL and that gets us to the 302 error code. You can also stop the test and then change your response assertion to let's say 500. Okay, so I have also run the result for error code 500 so in both the cases our test fails now the thing is if you are running such tests behind the proxy then you may get some unexpected results too also you have to make sure that you are checking for the positive or negative test here so when you are expecting 500 error code and if the geometer gives you fail test and you have to check if there is a proxy server or not so that you can verify that the test run was successful so this is how the assertions in jmeter works i hope you have found this tutorial helpful i will see you in the next tutorial